just scratching the surface in, on the implications of climate on many countries. I mean, some countries will disappear, actually, after 2040. And what do we do with those countries? I mean, we, it, it raises sovereignty and identity questions that I'm not even talking about climate migration. Mm. I'm, I'm talking about countries disappearing, usually island countries. Again, water. Um, as far as uh, I want to get back to, uh, to the issue as hand, at hand, um, for many countries, yeah, I mean, and you asked about trust, it's very important for, for Morocco because um, the way we've been uh, handling our uh, strategies, our sectorial strategies, water strategy being one of them, uh, and it's very important because this is actually, I usually think that with water and waste management are the two sectors where there's no space for error. If you make policy mistakes, pollution, corruption, and things like that, you can always repair a road if there's a problem. You can always repair a port mm. if there's a problem. I don't think you can depollute um, a water well that was totally broken, or you cannot actually resort to or solve a waste management a uh, project that went totally, uh, especially that you have liters and liters of lixivia that will go into your water aquifers. This is totally unbearable. And you can inject as much capex as you want into that. It doesn't change anything. So I think where, when it comes to the, the cost of error is too high in these sectors, that the importance of having um, governments and the decision-making process being a an, an hi much higher level of governance being respected is not only critical, it's very high. Mm -hmm.